So the question is, is the Gold Mountain Trail at Big Bear good for the novice 4x4? Like you just got your first Jeep, it's not locked, you're not on 35s yet. Should you do Gold Mountain? And we're about to discover. Now on this truck, we came to Gold Mountain in is an FZJ80. We're at the end of the trail. We're at the gold mine. Kids are exploring right now, so I'm wrapping up the video. So uh, stay tuned, watch us go through the trail. You'll see us come up, uh, well actually I didn't record it, but we did come up against uh, two guys with a new Jeep stock, no lockers on whatever the stock tires are, 32s. And they were turning back at the first obstacle. They said, uh-uh, check out. So that's at the very beginning, the first major kind of like rock levels you gotta climb up. This one did it okay, but this one's capable. This is on 35s, triple locked with ARB, air lockers, you know, center lock, all the goodies, and a Marlin crawler in low gear. But stay tuned, watch uh, some of the obstacles we conquer, the rock garden, all that fun stuff. And then I'll conclude uh, my advice for first timers. Heading to the Gold Mountain Trail in Big Bear. My two co-pilots. <laughs> Morning. Harrison McKenzie. We're gonna hit some trails on a beautiful Tuesday. First major obstacle on Gold Mountain. Set up the camera because the girls want to stay in the truck. Coming up this stuff. Get the screams when your two co-pilots are 17 year olds for the first time off-roading. We had to get a big bump on some of these two foot, three foot ledges here. Each ledge that is. Alright. Good old Gold Mountain Trail. In the 1994 FZJ80. Okay, we've hit obstacle number two on the gold mountain. Let me get out, give you an idea. It's a little muddy too. Let's we'll see, we'll set up the camera here. Let me scout our actual path. I don't have a spotter. Can't trust the 17 year old. So this is what we're coming up. We'll set the camera up here.
So about five or six gnarly spots on the Gold Mountain Trail. You want to be lifted. You don't want to be in a stock Jeep or 4x4. And you do maybe want to have someone in your party with a winch in case someone doesn't have lockers. I want rear lockers. Definitely had to go in low a couple times where my uh, 488 gears in high just weren't getting me over the hump. Just not enough you know, torque. So go into low and then pop, you get over it. Oh, you want to see animals? There's animals. See the deer? Where? Where? To the right. Where? Oh my oh god! My god. It's Wait, Bambi. I don't know if the camera picked that up. Oh, I'm gonna Wait, what are you gonna do? Oh. Oh. Where? Oh, right there. Baby, go back. They're like, we do this trail every day in 15 minutes flat. Hi, baby. You're so cute. I want a baby deer. I brought two co-pilots. Oh. <laughs> you, you gotta give us a warning. Heads up. Bye, baby. There they go. She's literally looking like that's my baby. But leaving Gold Mountain is a couple zigzags going downhill. We'll pass an abandoned mine. Be fun to stop there for the kids. But yeah, it's kind of like uh, almost entry level. Clegghorn would be entry level to see how your car flexes, and then Big Bear Gold Mountain would be your next your next destination with some rock and some boulders you got to get over two, three feet at some points. But if you can't get up, just remember there's a lot of rocks so you can stack them and make a nice ramp. And if you have a locked vehicle, you'll cruise through here, piece of cake. But it's fun. Kids like it, it's a good little family trip. Only about two hours to get through and then hit Big Bear Lake for a dip in the lake or go get something to eat in Big Bear Village. Coming up on the gold mine soon. We're at the end of the trail at Big Bear Gold Mountain. My daughter and her friend, first time off-roaders. What do you guys think? It was great. Yeah. Like, it was fun. It was so fun. <laughs> you know what? I am going to post that. You guys are going to put those California girl voices? I'm going to post it. All right. What do you mean California girl voices? First swaggy, I guess. Okay, then. <laughs> All right, they're really not like that. They're 4.0 GPA students. All right, here's the wrap up on the day. All right, here's the gold mine shaft at Gold Mountain in Big Bear, Lake Arrowhead. So we just finished the trail. Probably took us an hour and a half or so. I brought my daughter and her friend. So there's a couple screams and it was their first off-road trail. But conclusion's this. If you are a first timer, 
come with a group come with someone else that's done this trail before that can uh, warn you and tell you when there's some obstacles because as easy as they say and they I've seen reviews that says yeah if you got a 4x4 four four, well if you have a 4x4 four four on 33s you know not on stock tires and there's some sections I've been here before where someone with the Willis um, you know that new 2021 Willys Jeep well uh, no lockers they had to be winched in three spots and kind of backed everybody up remember that day it took us four hours to get through so if you come on the weekend plan for some novice people and for some backup um, on that trail so bring cold drinks but today it was a Tuesday yeah uh, 3rd of August nobody just the two uh, two guys with their Jeep that turned back at the first obstacles uh, saying yeah we, we need 35s we might need a locker and uh, quite honestly yeah you want you're gonna be using your 4x4 low and uh, rear lockers will help I did use the lockers on this a couple occasions to get through you know trail always changes because people stack rocks and stuff gets moved sometimes you come up and you see this huge ledge and you're like oh my god I can't do it well you'll be surprised if you have a locked vehicle what you can get through but also you can stack rocks so don't be scared to stack some rocks and help you know create like a ramp on some taller boulders but my recommendation would be come here with someone that's got a capable vehicle you know sit shotgun experience it as a passenger and then come here as a driver and on your first 4x4 vehicle I'd probably go to Cleghorn because at Cleghorn there's a lot of easy outs you know there's detours where you don't have to get up and go through the heavy-duty obstacle so that's what I'd say go to Cleghorn you know it's just on your way to Vegas up the 15 through the pass uh, and then once you do that come to Big Bear and once you do Gold Mountain then there's John Bull there's there's a whole bunch of great trails uh, in Big Bear that are intermediate and some difficult you know skiers will call them uh, black diamond double diamond all right so this cruiser that's the only damage we took I didn't uh, take my two inexperienced passengers uh, and ask them to spot so there was one section I backed up and uh, we were on quite the incline and bumped that bumper but I'm gonna pop that out when I get home and I also have a another uh, rear bumper for this truck so but yeah I recommend it it's fun we're gonna head to town now and grab us some lunch so happy 4x4 and enjoy the Gold Mountain Trail at Big Bear peace out